How's it going YouTube? Smiggles here, what's the crack? Today's topic of discussion is the PlayStation Neo. Uh, something that has been, you know, thrown around there for the past, God, couple of weeks. The PlayStation 4.5, you know, is this going to be a an actual thing that we see? And now it seems we have official, pretty much all but official confirmation uh, PlayStation Neo will become reality. They're like uh, an awful lot of people have mixed re reviews or uh, not reviews, but uh, feelings on the whole thing. So initially, I suppose it's it's not something that you know we haven't seen before. Like if you go back to the old generation, there's always consoles that like if you look at the original PS3 and the original Xbox 360. Compared to the end, you know, you had the Xbox, they had to change all their their uh, motherboards to the Jasper models, and then they had the Elite, and then they had like you know they had a slimmer one, they had the Elite, and then you had a uh, you know Sony doing the same. They had their slim and you know smaller things and everything. Um, because obviously over time you know parts get smaller and cheaper and all the rest so you know you can make things smaller so but this is the first time we've seen like a complete upgrade where basically nearly every part in it is getting a good old boost now an awful lot of people are pissed off at this especially you know imagine you're only after going out there a couple of weeks ago and buying a ps4 that you waited until you know there was a good catalog of games before you committed to the next gen of gaming and that like so you went out and got yourself you know a, a ps a ps4 and now you're hearing like oh fuck right there's going to be a newer better one so people are pissed off at that now sony have said that you know nothing will be exclusive to the, to the neo you know your games will play on both so you know it's just going to be a more like on this system, like obviously what they're aiming for is a better frame rate, better, just, just a whole smoother experience. And an awful lot of people are saying, like I said in a previous video, is, you know, the PlayStation's VR headset that they're, that they're coming out with. Because that thing is going to be fairly demanding in terms of its frame rate. Like you don't want serious frame rate drops in, you know, a VR headset. You know, you want things to be very, very smooth transition to make it, you know, appealing. So they they're going to release this. It's you know initial price points are pointing at four hundred dollars, but you know, like there's no word yet of a, a an exchange system or anything like that. So you know, the likes of GameStop or any of them now they're going to be offering buttons for your fucking you know PS3. Or PS4, sorry. Well, they already are offering buttons for PS3s. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like your PS4 is not going to be worth much to them now because they know, oh, well, you know, you got to buy the newer system. So, yeah, the new games that will be coming out uh, will be, you know, an awful crisper, better frame rate. It'll all look a bit sharper and a little bit close, a little step closer to your PC kind of, you know, your beast rig <laughs> settings. But at the same time, this is going to piss off an awful lot of, you know, games developers. Because essentially now, like, you have to make a game that's, like, it's, it's, it's almost a step back. Like, if you look at games that were coming out at the start of this generation where, you know, you had games on the, the 360, or the, sorry, the PS3 and PS4, or the 360 and Xbox One. It was the same thing. You know, you had to develop a game for both. Although... It, in saying that though it was a little bit different because there was a big gap you know in technology and that but you're still having to develop two games so you're like do you develop the game first and then do you add you know better textures then for the the next system or the next for, for the upgrade for the neo or do you make a game for the neo and then just have an option for the regular ps4 owners and then it's gonna i suppose you're gonna have people who like Microsoft will want, or Microsoft will be like kind of going shit. Is this going to affect us? But you may, you may never know. Like some developers may turn around and say, "Well, no, we'd rather develop a game for the Xbox One where we just have to make the one bloody game, than uh, like doing it for 
you know the the like all basically all three systems now like that's like every time they develop a game that's that's more time more money more everything involved in developing a game you know so that's gonna you know annoy an awful lot of developers so you know you might have them then and you might have stuff then going sony's way like where people just go right we have to put all this extra time in we'll have it exclusive on the ps4 and then that's that's fine that's 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 the way gaming will run but as well you know it's it's in the middle of a console you know lifespan like the nintendo nx like we're most likely at e3 we're probably going to see some big announcement there about that um so that's like there's all sorts of rumors it's way it's more powerful every time i record the phone goes off (laughs) oh i have to silence that thing but like you're going to see like you know a big new system coming from nintendo and you know you can bet your bottom dollar that microsoft are already well into planning their next system so you have to look at that like they're going to be planning their new system and like they already turn around like spencer already turned around says no like the the xbox xbox 1.5 is not really something we're looking into you know like it's like and you know microsoft are kind of right as well like you know like because sony have won this round so let them do what they want and you know as well like you're gonna have to like so sony are gonna have to have some big developers on board for this already to develop some stuff that's gonna be looking pretty good but as i said like you're gonna piss off an awful lot of people like some people like you know some people won't care because they'll just go well yeah i like my ps4 and it's fine i like the frame rate and everything i just want to play the game that's all i want uh, i just want some good games to come out i didn't you always have people who are after the you know solid frame rates and they just want the newest thing and they just want it but you know like sony are putting a lot of money into this again like because you're putting all new parts like it's probably it's obviously well it's obviously going to be more expensive to make the the neo than to make a you know ps4 so you know it is dangerous enough doing it in the middle of a console race like because you know is it going to sell as many units as you know i presume they all have projections of how many people will buy it and this that and the other well we hope to sell x amount of units but you know nintendo nintendo already have their next system on the cards microsoft will be working on their next system and they want to put an awful lot of money into that and then they're going to be you know like i say, the next console jump is going to be a big jump i'd say it'll be like the last one so you're going to see some big big improvements in a console and coming with those big improvements would be the big price tag so like be prepared for your next console to cause a serious chunk just like the ps2 and 3 and, and the awful lot of systems where but you know uh this is something that's this is something that uh, Sony have decided to do, and you know you have to wait until you see some footage or something later. Then, like, well, it's supposed to, it's supposed to be coming. Well, they reckon it's going to be out this year. Like, I'd I'd imagine. Uh, you see, they were probably just holding off for the right time. They were probably just waiting on you know the media shitstorm to really kick up. But yeah, an awful lot of it. Like developers are none too happy about this. Like having to develop two versions of a game, and and you know you're gonna see some people that probably won't even bother. Like, like for example, uh, I I doubt if EA will bother to make like a super version or whatever a Neo your Neo version. Sorry, um, they'll probably just still make your NHLs and Madden and FIFA and all this. They'll probably just make all them just standard because. You know, like that's you know, it's a lot. It's a lot more effort to be doing it. And uh, no, I just can't see. I can see, obviously, Sony have their own studios and everything, and they'll be pumping them out. And you will, obviously, if you throw enough money at something, you know, people will go ahead and do it. But yeah, like as as I was saying, like an awful lot of people are just kind of saying, well, I'm only after buying a bloody system, and now I have to get this other one and. And then I suppose you're going to see, you'll probably see a bit more further light into it when the PlayStation VR kind of fully lands. And then it's like, yeah, like the, 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 you really need to get the Neo to get the best experience from PlayStation's VR headset. You know, like they'll probably be, 
if you're playing it on the PS4, it'll be a disclaimer or something up that'll say, yeah, game experience may be a bit jumpy or jittery or something compared to the Neo for the best experience. Please go buy it now. <laughs> you know, so I think it's good. Like it's a, it's a good. Uh, it's, I suppose it's good to see this was Sony pushing something. So it's be fun to kind of see how it plays out for them. Will it be a complete disaster? Will we be talking about this in ten years? as you know one of sony's massive you know disasters or will it be a huge success story only time will tell and it's good that you know microsoft aren't just following like a like a little puppy dog saying okay if you do it then we'll do it like better off then they just focus on their next system but yeah so the the neo is going to land sometime in the next in the foreseeable future and it's going to be good to kind of follow it and see what happens but anyway, I've been Smiggles, and I hope you enjoyed the video. A little bit of a, a dirt rally in the background. I'm getting a little bit better. I really need to buy a steering wheel for this. But anyway, if you like my content, give me a like, give me a comment, give me a subscription, give me whatever you want. And I'll chat to you guys in another video. Thanks for watching. Good luck. <laughs>